guys, it's Piggy from the Paper Bumblebee. Today I've got something else. I have this painting I made quite a while ago. And it fell and it's got like a little hole here. And I, well, I put some tape on the, on the back. Hopefully to keep it like that. But I thought maybe we could make this into a junk journal cover. So I'm going to take this off. I was thinking of doing this, I thought why not take you along. So I'm going to try, this is a staple remover, I'm going to try and use that. For well, there are a lot of staples in here, I don't know if that will work, let's see. Not really. Okay, well it's coming out, let's take the scissors. going to work either. Just try this. Oh, wow. It's really stuck in me. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to remove all the staplers. And hopefully not damage my hand, poke a hole. Ooh. Wow. I'm not bending this now. Oof. Uh, what else have I got that I can use? This is useless. Maybe, uh, let me see, maybe a screwdriver or something, but can't seem to find one, yeah, got this one, let me just see, oh, that's a knife, don't want that, okay, this is the back. In like so, let's try that. Mm, nope. Okay, I just wanted to show you how I do this. I've got this really tiny little screwdriver, and I'm just going to I'm fiddling it underneath the little stapler to lift it. And once it lifted, once the stapler I, I lifted the stapler. They are easily removed. So let's take them all out. Take the frame out there and let's see. So I want it to go like this, but then it's double. Oh, no. yeah, fully double, and then you've got the cover. But now I don't want this on the front, I want this on the front. So I was thinking maybe if I'll fold it a bit. More to this side and take this and put it on the lap like this. Then we can use it like open like this and open like this, and then I've got this on the front. I think I will do that. So, what I will do now is just cut off these edges. Over there and over here, and of course the inside here. Or I can leave it like this, and it can be a tuck spot. I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm first gonna quickly just take the bottom, 
I know if you could tear it. Oh, that's good. Yes, so you can tear this and it tears straight. As far as I can see. Yep. Keeping that. Okay, and then on this side as well. To see how I can have to make a closure, so I thought maybe it would be nice to maybe a bit higher, make a hole in a hole, and then with a little piece of string, make the closure so that I can use. So, and like this, and then with the string I can close it, and maybe I should paint this black as well, with something like that, and then maybe I should cover the inside with more paper or something, just to make it sturdy and to... Um, get rid of that hole. Okay, firstly I'm going to take some black paint and just paint this. Okay, I've got some acrylic blacks and I'm just gonna put some black here. You can see that. And I'm just gonna with a dry brush keep this part black as well Okay, that's fine. Let's see how that looks. Okay, this is still wet. So I dried it a bit, and I'm not, okay, this side is quite nice, but I want to uh, take this and let it go till the edge here. So I'm just going to try and do this with a card and some white acrylics, and see... Oh, that's really bright with a pen. To take that through there. I'm just gonna 
and this is going to go like this just gonna get some more black That's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to dry that again. Okay, so let's see. If I fold it like this, this will go inside. This will go over here. Okay, so I just want that to be straight. I'm just going to take some white again. And I want this straight. that I'm just gonna dry this quickly okay so I'm gonna make this the closure I mean this is going to be my little junk journal so I'm gonna have a look what I can do on the inside I wanted to put some wallpaper in there so I'm just gonna have a look at my stash and see what I can use okay guys so this was really hard I wanted something, well, they're not black for the, is enough, enough black. And I don't want red for that's too bold. So I went for something a bit feminine and soft. So I wanted some, something flowers and I would have loved something, just a little pop of red somewhere. But I did not have anything. So this is, Think, I think going to be the inside so I'm just going to cut this quickly and I'm just going to turn it like so and then draw My, my lines, my outside, to know where to cut. There we go, that will do. So I'm just going to cut it quickly. Okay, so cut out my piece I want to use for the inside. Oops. So, 
Okay, let me see. Did I do this? No, I just have to cut off this little corner here. And then glue this on here. And then this will be my inside. So this will go like so. Yeah, I think this would be that would be cute. I can I think I will try to sew around it as well. So I'm just gonna stick the inside for now. I think I will use my tacky glue. Just for the inside. There we go. And then I can sew around the edges. I hope. Let's see if this will fit. I must say guys this feels so nice to have as a cover cool so I'm going to sew around it and then as you can see I've got some edges cut that off Sorry about that. And then I will back to show you. Okay guys, so sun around it. Love it. I think maybe I should no, uh, I don't know. But this is how it's going to look. This is going to be the closure. The back. I just love this. I might just um there's something on there where the hole was. I am loving this. So now I'm going to create my closure. So I think I wonder if I should use these big ones. This is a bit too much. Hmm. I think the small ones will be too small. Let me see. Um, if I take this size, I think it's going to be too small. What do you think? Oh, it's not completely round. No, I think I will go for the big ones. And then I am going to paint these. Should I make them red just to be or black? Or just a bit like so, so that they blend in. Hmm. Let me see if I want to put one here. Put it a bit more down. Just gonna see. Okay, this will be easy to make a hole. And this side. Yeah, that will be fine. I have to make a hole like there. And then just fasten these with rivets, rivets, rivets. Maybe should I do a hole in four set as well? Just a little ringlet, eyelet actually. Maybe I should. Just going to paint those quickly. <coughs> white 
Pages. Take a book page quickly and just put some black paint, some white paint only. Oh, that's a bit too much. Never mind. Okay, um, just take a brush. Maybe I should glue these together first. Okay, that's one. Get all the excess glue off there. And what I've done is just take a bit of black and a bit of white and then go over that and just going to dry that. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look. The darker one I thought for on here. And then the, a bit lighter one, maybe this, yeah, that's fine. Put on there. So I'm just going to do the edges quickly. There we go, I'm just drying again. Okay guys, I'm happy with those. I think we're gonna make the, the marking. It's gonna be something around here. And then this one. It's gonna be there. Yeah, I think it's cute. So I'm just gonna make the holes with my brand new toy I just got from the internet from a second hand site I bought this I'm gonna use this and see if this is nice I'm just gonna make a hole over here and then I need a hole See where is my mark? Something like I think it was here. Hopefully, yes. So then I'm gonna put in some 
just to make it more sturdy. So, like that. Just got some brass ones, uh, and I need to click it to the front, yeah, and then uh, let's put it in the hole. There we go. Oh, cool. There's one, and then I need the other one. Toy. Okay, so now meow, 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 I need this one on this side and this one on this side. Should I leave these as is? I think so. Get some split pins. Let's see. Hey guys, I've got split pins too. I've got a black and a white one. I thought that would be cute. Just a bit of playful. So let's put the white on this side. And then the black on this side. I'll always change it if I want to. There we go. And then we want let me see, I want some chihuahua. I think this would be cute. Where's the start? Put it on this side. And then we can put it around and around. And that's it. And we can put like some bead or something on the on the, the end here, um, that would be nice. Maybe some wooden beads. So grab some wooden beads, just have a look what goes in here. Okay, so I put some beads on the... Hmm. See if I can put this on there as well. Put some cello tape on the end of my rope. Oh, for I couldn't get it through. See if I want that on there as well. So there's my cover. I will put in some papers and voila, got your beautiful little junk journal. I think it's quite easy, really quick. And it feels amazing. I love the feeling. And this is like a bit of a traveler's notebook size, so I love it. I will show you the inside when I have done that, if you want to. Please let me know down in the description down below if you want to see. You can, of course, embellish this more, maybe I will. But I will show you when I'm finished. I will do a flip through if you want to. 
I hope you liked this idea. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.